You have the floor for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, members of the House. As representatives, we're elected to come here and represent our constituents. We come here with plans. We get feedback from our constituents. Um, we work hard here to protect rights, to uh, protect individuals, families, and businesses, and we work hard to keep Idaho free. This legislative session uh, has been somewhat disappointing. We are here at week six, day three uh, of, of week six, and virtually nothing has been accomplished to fix the, the needs that our citizens have been promised would be fixed. To this point of the session, procedural powers have worked for the benefit of special interests and state agencies while Idaho families and businesses are still hurting. Idaho's patients and legislators' patients are at the breaking point. Our constituents have been very vocal. They want us to end the governor's emergency declaration. They want us to end public health orders and limit public health district's powers. They want us to remove all restrictions on Idaho businesses. They want us to fully open Idaho schools and return to full activities and full sporting events, including dances. They want us to restore the balance of power and rein in the governor's emergency powers. They want us to repeal the grocery tax, to lower property taxes, and to return the surplus to families. They want us to stop committee chairs from holding bills. This week is a new beginning. All legislators have procedural power. We'll be using more of our procedural powers to the benefit of citizens, and we encourage, encourage other legislators to do the same. The legislature needs to stop listening to special interests and the gentleman on the second floor and start listening to the citizens more. This body needs to put pressure on the body across the rotunda to hear our constitutional amendment to call ourselves back into session. Both bodies need to have the votes they promised on ending the emergency declarations which are killing Idahoans' dreams. Here in the House, some of our bills have been taken and RSs are being shut down by committee chairs. A committee chair's job is to facilitate the work of the committee and help all proposals get a fair hearing. We've had grocery tax proposals, vaccination freedom proposals, and, um, and uh, abolish abortion proposals be shut down and held by committee chairs. Representatives should be allowed to represent by voting on all proposals bought, brought to the committees. Federal rules and conformity You have 30 bills. seconds. Okay. We need to protect our citizens' rights and our state sovereignty from federal government overreach. We need to ensure the protect, protections of our citizens' free speech. This week, we're using legislative procedures, rules for the benefit of all Idahoans. The work of the people needs to be put first on the agenda, not come as an afterthought. Let's work hard together using all the rules and tools at our, at our disposal to make Idaho free again. Thank you.